we'll discuss about trigonometric equations a new topic first we'll define what is a trigonometric equation a trigonometric equation is an equation which involves all trigonometric ratios of a variable angle theta so we'll write the definition definition trigonometric equation An equation involving all trigonometric ratios, all trigonometric ratios of a variable angle theta belongs to R is called a trigonometric equation. Now, if you want, you can write like this. For example, sin square theta minus phi sin theta plus 6 is equal to 0. Or sin theta minus is equal to 1 by 2. Like this, you can write as many examples as possible. Now, the set of values of theta satisfying the given equation is called a solution. So, the values of theta satisfying given equation is called solution of given trigonometric equation. Suppose, if you list out all those solutions, then set of all those solutions is called solution set. Therefore, set of all those solutions of the trigonometric equation is called solution set. Now, we will take an example. For example, if you write sin theta is equal to 1 by 2, if you take the coordinate axis with first and second quadrant sin theta is always positive so here it is 0 plus pi by 6 here it is pi minus pi by 6 so what are the values that is satisfied by sin theta equal to 1 by 2 means pi by 6 is one value phi pi by 6 is one value because sin theta is positive it exists only in first and second quadrant now again if you have one rotation here this is 2 pi plus pi by 6 so 2 pi plus pi by 6 is one value 3 pi minus pi by 6 is another value like this as many values as either clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation you can take set of all these values this is nothing but solution set of the given equation now we have to discuss about the bijective domain of the basic trigonometric functions like sin theta, cos theta, tan theta. Now, you know that sin is a function from set of real numbers to minus 1 comma 1. For existing of existence of inverse, we have sin inverse. It is from minus 1 comma 1 to minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. Again, if you rewrite, this is sin inverse of inverse is sin only. This is from minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2 to minus 1 comma 1. Now, you observe that sin function domain is capital R, whereas sin is bijective in closed interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. So, when you are talking about the general solution or solution set, you should think about the bijective domain. In the same fashion, we can discuss about cause also. So, we know that cos is also a function from capital R to minus 1 comma 1 whereas cos inverse is from minus 1 comma 1 to 0 comma pi again if you take the inverse again cos is from 0 comma pi to this is minus 1 comma 1 so you observe very very clearly that capital R is the domain of cos function whereas 0 comma pi is the bijective domain of cos function in the same way tan is also having 
by the activity in open interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. Now, you should think about the general solution or particular solution for any function provided they exist in the not only in the original domain but also in the bijective domain. Now, we will talk about the principal solution.